you going, Aries? I've got a quick, uh, quick daily read for you. Um, we're going to use uh, three different decks. We'll only pull seven cards out of each deck. And um, that's two, out of 234 cards, we only use 21. All right, I've shuffled these cards for ages. We're going to get started straight away. Beautiful. Somebody's a social butterfly. Somebody's confident in the present moment. You're surrounded by the light. Okay, see the cat in the front there? It's a good omen. Cats are there to warn off evil spirits in themselves, as they do. Uh, but they, they're, they're good omens. Everybody says they're bad omens. Like black cat, ah. Oh. Black cats are good omens. Not to mention, it shows um, you're about to pounce in some sort of way or release yourself in some sort of way because the cat has patience and before it pounces and gets it done, yeah? What have we got under the deck, yeah? There's a victory there for you, okay? Everybody's reaching for that light, but you're about to get it, see? Everybody's reaching for the light, leveling up in some sort of way, and you're about to level up like you've never possibly imagined because I've got two confidence and then the stage of confidence. I may be talking to somebody, whoa, I may be talking to somebody who's extremely joyful in inner beauty, but I may be talking to somebody who is about to be a big success in some sort of way. We got the Queen of Wands in itself, yeah. It's playing on somebody's mind though. Yeah, it's playing, it's playing on some family member's mind though that you're successful in some sort of way. I don't think they like it, yeah, because you've got your head over your heart. You can see that there. Yeah, they're coming with their hand out in some sort of way. You give your um, codependency maybe in some sort of relationship. The Ten of Cups is a relationship, okay? And somebody in that relationship doesn't really like it. I'd uh, say that relationship's over, walked away. Yeah, it's been ended. You learnt the, learnt the lessons, I suppose. On the one through to the ten in order to step off on your journey, yeah. There's deception there, okay? There is deception there. And they're juggling that deception. They're juggling the, how they've deceived you in some sort of way because there's deception here on this card and there's juggling thoughts, okay? And the baggage is weighing them right down. You can see that the family members or the the partnership or the the relationship, whatever relationship it was, because the Ten of Cups can be a family, can be friends, can be um, a big time love like it's but it's wherever whatever it was there was love there okay because we've got the lovers underneath split the deck yeah you were the about you were the about you were the you were the, you were the abundance if that makes sense you were the growth you were the whole relationship was rooted on rooted because you see the roots exposed there you're you you were the whole root to that relationship um, combine it together they were trying to deceive you trying to make it believe that you weren't but you knew in the end because we got the success there as a confidence is next to it and I literally just shuffled the deck it's come back out some sort of um daydreaming but it could be naive love okay because we did have love then we got deception baggage holding down and then you are the pentacle of that growth growth see that's what i'm saying so you were the stability in that foundation if that makes sense because you were the whole thing in itself and there was some sort of naive love offered in some sort of way okay you worked very very hard okay but they ostracized you they left you out they teased you and now they're thinking about that uh, they're thinking about maybe coming in with some sort of communication spirits guiding them towards that okay so it's family and friends okay they've worked very very hard on themselves now they think that they're joyful in themselves with family and friends there in itself but yeah we'll see how we go um in itself okay it's definitely around a ten of cups situation uh there's nine of swords nine of swords before it which is depression anxiety sleepless nights and then uh then deception thieves trickery after that so it shows that they're they're it's juggling them they're juggling thoughts okay they can't they can't get over the fact that you're the abundance okay they can't get over that okay because you were and now you've ended it see the finish line here and and now they now you're celebrating in life and they can't handle it yeah divine angels walked it worked it that way to balance the uh, scales out if that makes sense uh in itself yeah divine justice has been called in itself for the lover or the lovers okay the hierophant was watching the whole thing in itself okay for the lovers in itself okay um you start true to your morals because that's what he is he sticks true to his morals Split the deck yeah there's truth in what i'm saying see the sort of truth that he's got in his hand he'll cut you with the truth he'll cut you with his morals he'll cut you with his integrity he'll cut you with his truth in itself so you start true to your truth and that's beautiful because i've got the ten of cups to the lovers here but the minor arcana of the lovers and then i've got the horrifying in between that traditional love so you may have been married to the person um because we did see the marriage come out here that's marriage as well in itself and there was illusions around that marriage well wow, from naive love okay so you were the sacrifice and now you've learnt that okay so you can release divine judgment has been called so protect your energy at the present moment as you're courageous in that point in time and you're manifesting a lot of options and a lot of things to come in and divine judgment will be done for them because of making you the sacrifice okay you wore your heart on your sleeve and you're very strong at the present moment so continue to be yourself continue to have your inner milestones met continue to walk in towards yourself okay it's fated for it to work out this way okay as you release any boundaries as you release any burdens sorry and keep your boundaries in place the victory here okay is you getting you getting love eventually okay because they don't like that the victory is you um 
getting your justice, okay, that you're going to love. That's the best way to say it, okay, because people shouldn't be fucking around with marriage, let alone relationships like that, and thinking it's okay. There might have been um, some sort of codependency, okay, and then they teased you about it, gossiped in some sort of way. We can see that there, okay, because it's come with the same card again, man. They broke your heart. They're broken hearted now because you are the, see the same card at the end there, the relation, the, they're broken hearted because you're the bound, you are the root of that foundation. You were the abundance. They're broken hearted. They can't stand it. They teased you. They put you down. They were codependent. They couldn't give you. They didn't give and receive as much as you. Because look at this. Only one person's offering love in this card. The other person's got his hand on the card. So it shows that they, they only one person was offering love in itself. You were the bound, and it's ba it's like they're juggling the thoughts and they're deceiving themselves in some sort of way. They're juggling the thoughts, okay? They're juggling the thoughts of how they teased you. Look, that's hollow victories. Look, there's you crying. There's them doing their spell work, teasing you, and there's everybody walking past laughing. At the end of the day, I want you to know the spirit's seen the whole thing, okay? Because that's there, okay? Spirit's there watching you right now, was watching you cry and go through the whole thing, okay? And that's not very fair. You're very, very strong in yourself in order to have the transformation of that Queen of Wands with the butterfly in her hand there. You can see the transformation in the butterfly in her hand there of the light. So you transformed it all around, turned the light around, and now you get the success. And that's beautiful as you walk through. They broke your heart. They really, really did break your heart. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you were married to the person in a very long relationship and they broke your heart with a lot of illusion man a lot of illusion there is yeah look now they're in regret look four of cups regret rejection okay but it's fated to work that way okay because look at this yeah i've got fate to the justice card justice card to the fate okay and then i've got rejection for the lovers see that and you get the victory see success bad ass success too by the way uh, spirit did see the whole thing, okay, which is why there's fate there, okay, in itself. You wore your heart on your sleeve, okay, there's inspiration there for somebody. Uh, nine of Wands to the Hierophant, pretty please. Just the two faced individual, man. You were dealing with a two faced individual. It's as simple as that. There's a lot of deception, a lot of lies, a lot of illusions. Like, that's what that is in itself. You can see that there. Okay, you're dealing with some disgusting pig. I don't even know how to explain it. Spirit's seen the whole thing, okay? Whether in a relationship, cheating or whatever, Spirit's seen the whole thing, okay? Cheating, like literally, literally, a lot of options, okay, in itself. Now you have a new journey now, okay? So use your morals and integrity because you. that's... When I pulled this card out, that card came out as well. So it shows you use your morals and integrity, okay? So you didn't cheat, you didn't do anything wrong, you didn't do anything like that, whereas they did in some sort of way. And then, and then the, the funny thing is they came for a handout makes sense you are this is you now man be happy for who you are yeah be happy yes you're free see that hand up there the bond's gonna shower you with roses and love and happiness and all the things that are beautiful in this world as you grow and it's like inner milestones met so continue with the inner milestones met and just remember how beautiful you are okay because it was over here too yeah you're learning in life and that's beautiful so continue as the courageous soul you are and keep keep going you know don't let anybody walk all over you ever because look same card we're about to walk into the same card it's double emphasis on the fact that they deceived you in some sort of way and then expected some sort of handout or they were deceiving you around codependency in some sort of way you moved on and they created the domino effect they created a domino effect you moved on in some sort of way now they're sad because I've now got you happy, you happy, and them sad. And like I said up here, when it, we when we come around this deception, because above it is the deception of that handout, deception of the family, and they're crying and now. They're crying and you get the success. See? When you mirror it, does that make sense? There's justice. There's big justice coming in. They shouldn't have fucked around with you. Um, that's I've, I've got to be honest about it. There's big justice coming in. What's under the deck? Your, your love is beautiful. See, your love there. You're like superhuman with that love in itself, okay? And that's your victory and success. It's the same card here that I just touched, okay? See, success. And also said that you'll eventually get love, okay? And that will be your success. So continue on being that daydreaming, um, flirtatious person, beautiful, loving hearted that you are, okay? That's your success at the present moment. Um, yeah, they, they teased you, man. They put you down, they gossiped, they deceived you in some sort of way, and then they come looking for a handout. It doesn't make sense in theory because why would you it's like they were trying to really really deceive you you had to go within you had to have introspection okay and you had to clear that up okay that's the best the best way to say it they had there is horrible fate coming for these people and i think they're worried about it see they're worried in self about the fate that's coming in over the deception because above that i've got the lovers and justice and divine so and maybe that's probably why they see divine justice in itself uh divine literally divine justice look See, because divine is love, yeah? So it's d double emphasis on divine here. 
divine here. Okay, that's definitely a divine there. Okay, divine love in itself, justice for the divine lover in itself. They should never have played around with that man because now they're trapped in their mind or they've got bad depression or something, okay? Or because they deceived you. You can't do that to some people, man. Especially if it plays on the mind. If it plays on the mind, you had to come through and protect your own energy. And now you're enthusiastic. That's beautiful. Split the deck. Yeah, you're divinely guided in life, man. Continue continue on who you were. Uh, you had to go within in order to learn who you are. And that's beautiful in itself. And I know you've had to go through the horrible stuff. But trust me, I've got divine justice with fate here. So therefore, there's something coming around. Like I said, it comes up with you being the spirit back me up twice over here with you being the divine gift in itself and that was solid solid in your foundation and i don't think they've seen it okay i don't think they've seen it okay because she's too busy looking down she's too busy looking down and now they're balanced they're trying to juggle if that makes sense so that can also be cheating in itself and it's played on the mind but we'll see as it goes through they broke your heart man they broke your heart they did it with ego too and they did it while they thought they, were, they thought they were fucking funny about it too and they showed strength with all that they, they thought they had strength in people yeah, now they, they thought they were enthusiasm. Now they're trying to release their burdens. And, <laughs> and you're protecting your energy. Same cards over here. They just came out, yeah? Yeah, same cards. Look, exact same card. See, three times on you being the, the, the abundance, okay? So be excited and enthusiastic, okay? Continue to protect your uh, energy. Yeah, they thought they'd leave you out. They thought they'd ostracize you. They thought they'd come along. Narcissistic little pricks. What they do is they... they they hurt you, right? They come back with a handout thinking that you don't know. You do know. And then all of a sudden, they're sitting there going, what? Why am I getting bad justice? Man, go within and think about it, you fucking idiot. You'll understand why. You shouldn't be out there breaking hearts, yeah? Especially gossip and things like that, yeah? Especially offering naive love. Come on, man. Or cheating in some sort of way, okay? But either way, you're moving past the trauma, okay? And, and you made a wish, okay? And you're gathering up to release all the burdens of this manipulation that took place with this lover, with this chivalrous, disgusting pig here. You know, that's also narcissism. So that, that last card that I just showed you there is, is, is narcissistic. Like, that's full narcissism. This one here. It's in the, in the right way up, it's chivalrous in itself, but um, in, the, in the opposite way, because they've broken your heart, see? They've broken your heart. So therefore, it gives you the understanding that these people they shouldn't have been playing around with that. There's manipulation there. There's narcissists. There's manipulation. See the manipulation? Manipulation in, in a narcissistic tendency, okay? Because the narcissist will use the love in order to manipulate you in itself, okay? And that's the best part about it, is they think that with their melodramatic, emotional, volatile thing that they're going to control you in some sort of way, and they don't get it. They're, you're moving past that by releasing the burdens, and you made a wish, okay? But what they did, you're excited about it too, okay? But they thought they'd, they'd fuck around with naive love, yeah, in itself. And they also thought they could gossip and things like that but you're beating to your own drum which is beautiful you've got the world in front of yourself okay they just they thought they'd leave you out you need to be excited at the present moment regardless of what's happened okay you may have been married to the person and there was illusion there in some sort of way and then under that i've got naive love again okay so and then under that i've got release so you can see the way the cards are going from the first lot of first lot it's literally just showing there there's divine judgment coming for the two-faced fucking individual and that's the truth that's the best way to say it um they expected you to be sad um, but offering naive love. See, only one person's offering a cup of love there. And the reason I say that is because of codependency and then these cards surrounding that codependency. I'll show you and then we'll end it there. It literally explains it right here in itself. It surrounds, see the codependency card here? And it's surrounded by deception, uh, deception, sleepless nights, and then hollow victories. See? And just shows you that thoroughly. They're jugg juggling those thoughts now because once the narcissist they won't they once they can't get the supply then they start to think about how you were the 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 the, the blessing in itself okay just protect your energy and just understand you're free yeah and you're about to be showered with roses if you're not at this stage uh it could be past present or future divine justice is coming man because it's surrounded by fate and then right next to that i've got the two-faced individual so we can see that there and then right next to that i've got the spoiled brat see see just sitting there thinking about these three cards <laughs> Thinking about these three here, look, I'll show you. Look, they're sitting there looking at this. It literally could see the three uh, pentacles here, which ties up to um, the three of pentacles, but in itself is, um, which is beautiful in itself. But see the three, eight, three blessings, divine blessings, aces of divine blessings. See how that's, that's walking through to the Garden of Eden, okay? Because you were the Garden of Eden. Look, there's a garden there in itself. And it shows that you were the root in, in that foundation. And look, there they are sitting there thinking, about the three, these three things here, about the blessings there in itself, not even realizing they're in a big cup, just sitting there rejecting it. 
Have a lovely, beautiful day. There are bad things coming for them and beautiful things coming for you. You're, you are absolutely beautiful. That's how it works in life. Put good things out, good things come back, okay? So continue to be the good, beautiful soul that you are and give out to the universe and receive in, in return whoever broke your, broke your heart. Unfortunately, there's some people you can fuck with and some people you can't. Have a lovely day, Aries, and take care. God bless.